NATO wanted this war <clears throat> so I just thought I'd give you the Ukraine updates first and then we'll get into uh, everything else that I wanted to go through uh, for today I'll probably make another video I'm taking the day off I after driving around Orlando for five hours yesterday trying to hunt down my phone I I just uh, mentally I, I just needed a day just to chill out uh, so uh, the latest report was uh, the the number of dead in that apartment building is now 21 uh, that the uh, Russian missile hit uh, and uh, no report on the number of casualties. I, I said yesterday probably you know 100 maybe 200. It was a big apartment building. I did see the pictures of it today. Uh, now as a result of the massive <laughs> you know reports are now coming in on how devastating the uh, Russian missile attack was on I think it was Saturday uh, uh, the, basically uh, most of Ukraine's experiencing emergency blackouts in their uh, electrical grid so that uh, that that hurt them pretty bad uh, and uh, of course Russia's running out of missiles remember Russia doesn't have anything left in their arsenal don't don't worry about it um, so uh, Western, uh, they're going to send new air defense systems, uh, and uh, basically, you know, uh, I, I just want to do my assessment on this. I, I think Russia's letting all this happen. They want NATO to exhaust all of its uh, Western resources uh, uh, in Ukraine, um, so that uh, you know, there's really not going to be much they have left. Uh, you know, of course, you got the Challenger and the Leopard tanks. Uh, Britain's promising, but those tanks can't cross some of the Ukrainian bridges. I don't know what good they're going to do, but uh, they, they'll be there for Russia to destroy, so that'll be good. Uh, but like I said, that was the largest missile strike, I think, of the war uh, that took place on Saturday. So that was huge. Uh, by the way, the uh, sanctions are just crushing Russia. Thank God for the sanctions. Uh, you know, we, what we put them on about a year ago. So uh, Alexander... Novakis, uh, he put out his uh, 2022 assessment of the Russian economy. Uh, and so uh, listen to these numbers, man. Russia's getting crushed. Oh, my God. They're suffering. These people are suffering. They're, the oil and gas revenue went up 28%. They're suffering immensely. Oh, revenue up 28%. God damn. This is, these sanctions are working great uh, against Europe. They're working great against Europe. But uh, I, I question uh, what they're doing against Russia. Uh, boy, I tell you, the European people, they, they better just uh, get their globalist lunatic governments out of, of uh, power uh, before they, um, they starve to death. But uh, anyway, so coal production increased by 0.3% to 40, 442 uh, million tons. Uh, now, these are Russian numbers from, from Alexander Novakis. Uh, uh, liquid national, natural gas was up 8% to 40 billion uh, cubic meters. Uh, well, according to Russia, the oil, their oil exports in 2022 increased by uh, 7% um, as we drained our strategic oil reserve here in the United States. Uh, the, um, let's see, oh, the, the, the domestic market production, uh, 484 billion cubic meters went to domestic uh, market and, of course, to the Russian, you know, you have to understand, I mean, you know, yeah, we're NATO, uh, but they have the Russian Federation, so they're supplying all of the, the nations that are uh, part of the Russian Federation. Uh, so that's kind of the equivalent of NATO, if you want to look at it that way. So uh, all of the Russian nations are being well supplied with uh, uh, domestic uh, uh, natural gas and, and all the everything else uh, while the uh, Europeans are suffering. Uh, 
maybe they'll uh, wake up. Uh, you know, I think the sleeping masses uh, will come to uh, some sort of uh, conclusion here. Gas supplies to China uh, was 15.5 uh, billion cubic meters. <laughs> so China's doing fine. Uh, Russia's supplying them extremely well. So that, that alliance is working out well. For uh, Russia, uh, profiting both nations. I uh, imagine India probably. I, there were no numbers on what might have been given to India. I didn't see anything about that, but uh, I'm sure that some, 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 some of these profits uh, are probably coming from India and, and of course, other nations around the area. Uh, electric production production in Russia grew by 0.7 percent. And consumption grew by 1.5 percent. But Russia's suffering, man. They are suffering. These sanctions are working, man. These globalist lunatics are are really leading Russia to to, to destroy themselves. New regions of the Russia Federation got more than 3.5 thousand kilometers. Now remember the Russian Federation, right? These these are the block of nations that are are part of Russia, like. Um, uh, Georgia or uh, 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 what's the one to Belarus you know they, so they got 3.5 thousand kilometers of power lines and four power units at stations uh, were restored so we can see how the war is going thank God for the sanctions I'm, I'm, I'm so glad these globalist idiot lunatics are uh, leading us down that path so I've got new um, uh, you know, because we redefined the definition of a vaccine and we've added all kinds of pronouns to the Webster Dictionary and we've been changing definitions of all kinds of things, I wanted to add three new uh, terms to the Webster Dictionary. I thought this would be pretty cool because I've been watching people, a lot of people are picking up on this on YouTube, but it's Bidenopolis. <laughs> Bidenopolis. I like that word for, uh, for our president. So we, for, we will no longer refer to him as Biden. We'll refer to him as Bidenopolis. Now, I, Trump coined this one, and uh, you know what? I, I just like it. I I I because it was that crazy video that you know, if you didn't watch it, it was DeSantis put out this uh, weird video during the election that uh, he was uh, uh, I don't know. It was kind of a he was I guess he was painting himself out to be a saint or uh, you know an angel in in the fight of God or something. It was it was it was bizarre. And so uh, Trump labeled him DeSanctimonious. So I'm going to start referring to DeSantis as DeSanctimonious. I like that term. And then, of course, the other uh, term that's trending around uh, YouTube is leftoids. <laughs> I love that term, leftoids. So from now on, the left is no longer the left. I'm going to refer to them as leftoids. Uh, so let's just go around the horn here real quick. Um, Tesla dropped their car prices uh, hugely, uh, pissing off a lot of their customers. Uh, but they did it in a strategic move to capture uh, federal government uh, subsidies. Um, so now the price of those cars has come way, way down. So if you want a Tesla, you know, it's no longer $75,000. You could probably pick it up for whatever uh, the new price. You might want to look into that. I, I have no interest. I've got my Toyota Prius Prime. I'm good to go there. I, I did not understand the men's agreements. And so I wanted to kind of break that down for you a little bit better. Uh, it was all a sham uh, from the beginning. But the, uh, you know, Russia, I didn't realize, Russia was never really a part of the men's agreements. So I learned that today. I mean, I'll tell you, that's why I, I just fish around and try to find out information. Um, so that was really between the Donbass region and the uh, Western Ukraine. Uh, and it was meant to be kind of a peace agreement between the two, but it was never meant for that. It was, it was so that NATO and the West could arm Western Ukraine against uh, Eastern Ukraine, because Eastern Ukraine is mostly uh, Russian. Uh, you know, they, they speak the Russian language, and it's been basically a civil war going on there. And the other thing I learned today was I did not know that a lot of Western Ukraine is, um, they really are Nazis, man. They are white supremacists to the max. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I... I you know, I hate to say it. I, I'm not trying to say I'm rooting for Russia, but these people on the in Western Ukraine, they, they, they. I'm, yesterday, I was in my video. I said how the guy referred to the Russians that were attacking as orcs, and uh, and so that's that's kind of the sentiment. They they view the Russian section of their country as inferior human beings, much like the Germans did to the Jews uh, during World War II. I didn't realize there was kind of that. Uh, uh, that white supremacy aspect to the war, but that that was uh, something new for me. I I didn't know. Uh, you know that uh, Huckabee, um, uh, she took over uh, the governor 
ship in uh, Arkansas, and the first thing she did was ban uh, critical race theory and the word uh, Latinesque or Latinx, because uh, she said that was offensive to the um, the uh, Hispanics. If you're Hispanic and watching my channel, uh, let me know. Is that word offensive to you, uh, Latinx or la Latinx? I mean, I you can call me asshole for all I care. And in fact, that's my name, asshole. You, you know, when you look at it and you say, hey, that server security. It, oh, yeah, you're the asshole, you know, so just call me asshole. It doesn't, I don't take offense to that, you know, so Latinx, Latinx, maybe, uh, maybe you guys do take offense to that. I don't know, um, but call me asshole anytime you want. Um, oh, yeah, the, uh, the, the Penn, uh, Penn uh, University, uh, those documents, and uh, the uh, corruption, I mean, I tell you what, Pennsylvania, I, I commented on this in a previous video, I mean, the corruption that's in that state, <laughs> that's, it's kind of like Arizona, you know, I mean, do we, do we really believe the shenanigans in the Arizona election? I, I don't know, you know, I don't want to get strike from YouTube, uh, but, uh, you know, and they elected a dead man and a zombie, and then, of course, you know, all of these papers that were at the university, that's something else. Uh, the other thing I thought this was very interesting was that uh, Hunter Biden was paying his dad $49,000 a month in rent for his Wilmington home. Uh, and by the way, I, they, I saw some figures. The, the highest rent in Wilmington, uh, North Carolina, was uh, like $6,000. So uh, we're, we're well above that. So uh, maybe that's a little uh, laundering scheme. You know, I don't know. You, you tell me. Uh, I, I, this, this is something I want to see. You might want to look into it. Uh, this is going to be good. Um, Kevin Sorbo, I tell you what, I loved him in the Hercules series. Uh, he's just a good guy. I mean, he, he um, and he got ousted. I mean, uh, Hollywood, uh, because he's a conservative and he's a Christian, uh, they, 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 they kicked him right out. And, but he has a new movie, and this is going to be good. I'm looking forward to this. It's called Left Behind, Rise of the Antichrist. And uh, it's going to be in theaters, and uh, I, I probably won't go to the theater. I'll just wait till it comes out on one of the uh, platforms. Uh, probably, I, I imagine the Daily Wire might pick it up, you know, who knows. Um, I, I'm not subscribed to the Daily Wire as of yet, but I do want to. I just haven't figured out how to do it with my Roku TV. I, you know, i got to figure it out. Uh, yeah, I saw a special today. Carrie Lake, uh, she's in appeals court with her case on the, uh, the, the circumspect uh, Arizona election. Um, she says that she's going to fight it all the way to the Supreme Court, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully, I'd, I'd like to see something come out of that, because uh, I, I, I don't believe that Maricopa County uh, conducted their election in a uh, uh, upward fashion, let's just say. Uh, wow, this, this was a huge number. Uh, silver continues to come off the COMEX. Um, if you don't own silver, um, it's, uh, it's getting scarce. And, uh, you know, somebody's taking it off the COMEX. Now, there, are, there is speculation that we're going to get another pullback. I can't buy it no more. It's too expensive for me. I, 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 uh, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm out on gold, I'm out on platinum, and I'm out on silver uh, for the most part. Unless uh, we have a pullback in those prices, I just don't have the cash to deploy in that manner. Um, so anyway, I, by the, this was a huge number. The uh, California is $22.5 billion in debt, <laughs> and we're running a surplus here in Florida. So let's see, Republican government with the sanctimonious or you want to live under Newsom in California with your $22.5 billion in debt. Now, that's not going to matter because the Democrats in Washington, D.C. will use our federal tax money uh, out of Florida to bail out California. But uh, anyway, it's, uh, I thought that was a huge uh, development because, uh, you know, so many businesses have moved out of California. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, and, and of course they're they're making do without gas. I you know, California's a hellhole. I wouldn't want to live there. Holy moly. Uh, we already did that. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I guess that's it. That's it for this uh, this video. So uh, as as I see more, I'll uh, I'll let you know. One one thing, you know, I always try to help you in these videos. Uh, we get into something besides uh, the world burning. The, the, this will be another world burns video. Look at this. I got my uh, my copper coins today. Check them out. Aren't they beautiful? This is uh, this is like uh, the Statue of Liberty on this side. And uh, well, I can't tell what that is. It looks like a neo. I'll, I'll let, let me bring it up to the camera. 
hopefully the light is decent. I'll get it, maybe get it a little closer. What do you think? So this is, this is the random design uh, copper rounds that I got from SD Bullion. Uh, I think they're beautiful. And, uh, you know, I don't know what the barterability will be on these uh, when the schmizzy hits the fan. Um, but, you know, I paid a dollar thirty-nine. There's still a dollar thirty-nine at SD Bullion, and I just thought, you know, maybe owning some copper uh, to diversify my uh, my my schmizzy when the schmizzy hits the fan uh, uh, stuff. Um, you know, maybe uh, I would want uh, some copper coins because, you know, I bet uh, you know when people are out there and they're desperate, you know, one of these might buy a loaf of bread. And you never know. Um, so I. I just thought, uh, you know, in copper right now, it's, uh, it's, it's skyrocketing as a, as a metal. Now, $1.39, you can pick up, you know, a, a thousand ounce bar of copper for a hell of a lot cheaper than what I paid for these rounds. But, you know, I, are you going to barter with a thousand ounce uh, bar of copper? I mean, yeah, sh sure, you could go and cash it in and uh, put it back at, the, um, at one of the bullion dealers, I suppose. Uh, but... Uh, you know, I want to be able to get out on the street and buy things uh, if I need them. Uh, right now, I'm pretty pretty well set. Uh, I got two, well, like as you know now, I got two uh, highfalutin cell phones and, you know, a Toyota Prius Prime getting 80 some miles to the gallon. And I have a Honda ADV uh, that uh, is worth $7,000 and I get 100 miles to the gallon with that. So I'm, I'm pretty set for transportation and I'm pretty set for... Um, some barter ability things, you know, uh, so I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I'm kind of getting to the point where I just got to develop my garden in the back of the house. It's just a bit chilly today, and after yesterday, I just mentally traumatized. Uh, so that's it for this video. Maybe I'll come up with something. If I see something else that I think you need to know, we'll get into it. But I thought, don't these copper rounds look pretty? I mean, I think they're pretty awesome, man. And uh, I don't know. I mean, is, is, are copper rounds, maybe leave a comment below. What do you think? Is, is this a stupid purchase? You know, at $1.39? I mean, uh, can I, well, I, when I looked online, the rounds on, on other channels, I mean, in, like at eBay and stuff, they're selling for $1.50 or $1.99. So I thought $1.39 would be a good deal. Um, so, you know, hell, if, on eBay, if I could just turn around and sell these for $1.99, I think, you, you know, you make a little bit of... Um, uh, fiat currency off of them, huh? Peace out, stay free, and it's good, good, good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida under the great leadership of the Sanctimonious.